John Gale, I'm a 1980 graduate from Red River College from Mechanical Engineering Technology. I was always interested in mechanical devices, taking everything of my dad's apart and hopefully putting them back together with a few leftover parts. I did have a mechanical ability and I had a neighbor at Clearwater Lake up in the pot at that time and he was an engineer from NASA and he got me very interested and encouraged me to go and take mechanical engineering so enrolled in Red River College in 1978 and as you say the rest is history. It was a couple of years before the big recession and there were, there were a lot of jobs. I had a lot of job offers and I felt I wanted to stay in Manitoba and joining a smaller company at that time I figured I would advance quicker rather than being lost in a big engineering firm. Started right from there not knowing really what a diamond drill bit was but my assignment was to make something bigger, better, faster, more improved, whatever and then that, that's what I did. Well, the first thing I did is I listened to what my boss was saying, their, their perception of what's needed in the field, and I asked for permission to go work on the drill rigs to see what the customer was really saying. I ate with them and worked with them and drank with them and fought with them and went back to Winnipeg and filed a report with my superiors, and they backed me on it. I said, I've got to do some research, I've got to find out all the latest technology, whatever, and you know, if, if I had a youngster come and tell me that, it sounded like I wanted a year's holiday, all expense paid, because I basically went around the world looking at the different diamonds, talking to different companies, uh, looking at the metals and the powder metal technology. It was all encompassing, so it, it, it took a couple of years to, to really get the thing off the ground. was working very well and it was either we take it up another notch or we divest ourselves from it. So I said, well, let me take a few months off and think about what I want to do. We always seem to be coming to to Lake of the Woods. It just seemed to be our favorite spot. We started to know friends out here and whatnot, so we decided to buy a property out here. That's where we want to settle and retire, and little did I know we'd be developers out here. The town always saw themselves as a mill town, and once the mill closed down, you know, they have to reinvent themselves. I always knew the opportunities would be here for retirement living, but now we've got a huge amount of property, you know, so we can virtually reinvent the town now to have it as a Four Seasons destination. And using my experience with value-added manufacturing, we can manufacture finished products. And that's just a start. Once, once we see that these things are moving, we can really see the future where this is a center of excellence for renewable energy, renewable resources, wind technology, geothermal, because of the lakes and whatnot, there, there's some huge opportunities to showcase these technologies and have a, a zero footprint, so to speak. So we think we have a pretty credible plan and a lot of people are listening. We've got a lot of local support, a lot of government support, industry support, so we've worked hard at it and uh, we'll be busy for a long time and really change the, the face of Kenora, all for the better. I felt that I had, had a fabulous education and I use just about everything I've learned daily. Red River College, you know, it, it was a great aid because then when people said it can't be done, you can usually figure a way around it. <laughs>